it is also it also implies that except you exert more legal force business wise country wise the level of finances of your country of your business of your family will remain on the same level on which it is now that's a law that governs every area of life it's one of Isaac Newton's laws of motion nothing moves of its own accord we also note that Isaac Newton propounded a second law he said that acceleration is produced when a force acts on a mass the greater the mass the greater the force needed to move it subconsciously everyone lives by this law to move more money you need to exert more legal force if you look at a case of uh, somebody pushing a car you know that if that car is a is a an, is an example of money the money that is not in your account now the money that is lacking in our continent needs some force some legal force for it to be moved into our financial reserves this is exactly what isaac newton taught your money force actually will make money move towards you with the speed defined by the power of your money force every business has a money force your money force is what determines the turnover of your business your business could be a one million runs business because that's the only amount of money your business potential can move if you raise your business potential if you increase your concepts and ideas if you do something beyond your normal capacity you can increase your money force and thereby increasing the amount of money coming into your accounts I'm going to quickly fast track to the next slide where the Isaac Newton talked about I mean uh, where we talk about why money is called currency money is called currency because like currents in an electrical circuit it moves in a closed circuit you cannot find electrical currents flowing in the wild that is why the poor remain poor because if you don't find yourself in the circuit where money flows money will never flow to you money circuits refers to the channel through which money moves from the bank to a business from a business to a customer from a customer back to the bank money moves in such a closed circuit and people protect the movement of money just like you insulate the cables that transmits electrical wires what is poverty poverty can be defined as when more money moves away from you from your country from a group of people than comes to such persons global poverty exists simply where there is simply an imbalance in the movement of money that is what we call trade deficits and this is actually the root cause of poverty poor people have more money moving away from them than moving to them and the truth is if we want to stop the trend then we need to make everybody know and realize that money moves and you need to find a way of making it move to you legally one of the primary things you're going to find out is the fact that money moves primarily through sales of goods and services to move money you must find something to sell to move more money you must sell more money is waiting to move it's waiting to move to africa it's waiting to move to the most impoverished countries the challenge is we need to find something to give in exchange for money moving to us money moves through sales of goods and services and everybody sells something the airline sells transportation services the gas station sells petrol and other products south africa sells platinum nigeria sells crude oil everybody sells something it doesn't matter what you're selling what matters is money moves through sales of goods and services 
To move money, we need to do something about what we are selling. Now, one very important thing I want to deal with before I quickly take my seat in terms of poverty eradication is choosing what to sell. I found out that poor people sell irrepla irre irreplaceable items. That is why they become impoverished. Any commodity that cannot be replaced easily should not be sold. That is why you find that what obtains in certain countries, Nigeria, for instance, sells crude oil. South Africa sells gold and platinum. These items are irreplaceable. Sierra Leone sells diamond. It is irreplaceable. Financially intelligent people know you don't sell anything that is irreplaceable. People who work for organizations, they sell their time. Your time is irreplaceable. Financially intelligent people know that you only trade what you can replace. That is why we need to move from a, con from a continent that sells raw materials to a continent that sells finished products. Most entrepreneurs know this principle. That is why they buy your time and use their time to manage your bought time. When you're working for a company, you're actually selling your time. And everybody has just 24 hours. If I employ 10 of you, and I take 8 hours from you, I have 80 hours at my disposal. And I use my 8 hours to manage your 80 hours, and thereby I increase my productivity and make myself richer than you are. And the final word, let's package as a continent. Poverty exists because of lack of packaging. You notice that we sell the raw materials, the developed countries package them and send it back to us, and then we pay for the finished product which they have packaged, and as a result of that, we end up in a trade deficit. Packaging is a very important key when it comes to poverty elevation. Now, this is just a short, uh, <laughs> a short extract from my work on the physics of money. Thank you. Wow. You know, Pastor Emmanuel is someone that can keep you on the edge of your seat. Someone was once described by somebody as a spellbinding speaker. I think Pastor Emmanuel falls in that class. You almost forget the time you are to stop him. <laughs> A round of applause once more for him. So please do get that book, The Physics of Money or the CD. Uh, do get it. And uh, maybe we are looking forward to the chemistry of money. And I won't be surprised if he comes up one day with the biology of money. And before you know it, they will come up with the geography of money. <laughs> we are gifted in Africa. <laughs>